hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop the next episode on i do don't forget that this is fate is showing on mimi Nolly tv go to the description section and come subscribe and watch najma feels shy while asa teases her too Najma says that she loved Imran for the first time she had a talk with him. Asad says that it took more than a meeting to know and hence, at first, he too liked him. She says that he doesn't even know how to lie. Asad says that therefore he likes him. He asks if Zoya agrees. Zoya remembers the phone incident but sensing Najma's tension, she says that she was just teasing her and actually he is what Asad thinks. He leaves in Najma too after thanking her leave. Zoya thinks that maybe she's overreacting. Later, Zoya comes and finds Najma Facebooking and looks at Imran's pictures. She teases her when Najma says that she wasn't doing anything particular. Zoya breaks into poetry and insists to see the pictures and starts teasing Najma that they aren't good at all. But then she's silenced when she turns out to be that the next picture at are threatening types to reveal a secret and that the username from which it is sent is some tea. Zoya is a little test while Najma brushes it aside, thinking it to be some sort of a plank. Najma sees Zoya tense and asks if she really thinks it's serious, but Zoya assures her that it might just be a spam. She says that she has to talk to her about Assad. Zoya says that Assad is very shy about his wishes and never confesses and asks Najma about Asad's particular likings or his secret crush. Najma, after much insistence, tells that he had a, crew, a huge crush on Sridevi. She tells that he used to watch her posters and movies and that he had decided to marry Sridevi when he grows up. Asad comes home and finds that the door is open and none is inside and all lights are off. He insists, but just then he hears the sound of Sridevi's song playing. Zoya goes on to do an imitation of Shidevi. Asad is pleased to the call at this gesture. She ends in his arms. A passionate eye look follows. She says that she finally managed to fulfill his third wish and asks if he's happy. He turns her and hugs her. Chambi teases Hasina for being scared of Asad and not giving the list. Hasina is ecked, but Chambi continues saying that she won't get anything from Asad. Hasina thinks that Nikad was a better option than her, as her family got lots of gifts at least. Hasina says that she won't let this relation go to waste, and neither does she want Nikad's relation to be called off too. She says that she would find a way out of it. While Raja is relieved to be finally sleeping on her own bed, she is shocked when she finds Padibi coming towards her at the wheelchair. She gives a letter to Raja that says that she can't before her as she may have given her permission to stay here but at the first instance of evil behavior she would be back at sleeping on the floor razia remembers her ordeal and is terrified the next morning rashid and shirin are shocked to find her seen at their doorstep and that she apologizes profusely that she had a revenge but felt really guilty at this rashid asks that she isn't happy at does at any relation. Hasina says that Najma is really nice, but she has realized that she has also lost a daughter-in-law like Nikat, as she connected the tar from the heart. Both Rashid and Shirin are confused at this. She says that she does understand that this is a new way of insulting them. Hasina admits her mystic and says that she was very happy insulting them, but now night Pia Baba came to her dream to tell her that she sinned and should repent, and she was restless till now. She asks them to forgive her so that she may be in peace and starts crying. Rashid is irritated and asks Shirin to make her understand. Hasina continues saying that Nikat shouldn't get a son like her, but her elder son is returning from America and shows them the picture. She says that she wants Nikat for him. They are surprised. Rashid asks what this nonsense is. Hasina says that it's a request as he is a very eligible bachelor and asks them to give it a thought. Rashid is furious. Hasina says that he's angry at her right now and that she would wait till he simmers down. Chambi says that if Nikat comes to their house, it would be their good fortune. 
They leave asking them to think over it. Rashid and Shirin are tensed. He says that he has never seen a low-level woman like this and leaves but Shirin is in confusion and starts eyeing the photograph thinking the same thing. Ayan sees Umera searching frantically for her medicine as a stick that she had is finished and comes to ask what she's searching for. Umera is surprised to see him but doesn't answer. He asks if she has taken the medicines as she can't miss them. She says that she has taken the medicine and that he shouldn't try and be a spy. She asks him to leave. He does so. Rashid asks Shirin to shut up but she again goes on a rant as to how much Dilchad has spoiled their happiness. She says that she will do what she wants and that she would go to meet them. Shirin asks Rashid to consider and asks Rashid desperately if he doesn't know what becomes of a woman who has been refused to be married by someone and that she has to live as the second wife in someone's life. Rashid is about to put forth his point but is shocked to see Nikat listening to to all this and being distraught. Before she can be consoled, she leaves. Zoya and Najma tell and show Imran of the weird pictures and that it was sent by someone called T. Imran is reminded of Tanvi and is tensed and says that he doesn't go on networking sites. Zoya screams out that he's lying, surprising him and Najma too. But he finds out that they are actually teasing him. She shows him his Facebook profile and Tanvi's comment on it. He instantly says that there is no one like that on his friend list and that he would delete all of them and goes out to do it. Asad comes and asks if they didn't leave yet. Imran says that they were just leaving. He asks them to return before it gets dark. Imran and Najma leave. Asad asks what they were talking about but Zoya says that it was nothing important. On the road, Nikat is haunted by what happened in the house and all the more distressed when she sees Najma with Imran, enjoying and having fun. She is in tears. As Najma's eyes fall on her, she turns around and leaves before Imran or Najma can see her. Rashid again cutly tells Hasina that she, they aren't interested. She says that she has come on Shirin's insistence. Rashid is surprised and asks why she called them. Ayan too is shocked. Shirin says that they should think, but Rashid says that he has taken the decision. Hasina asks for Nikat's opinion. Rashid says that he knows her opinion and is about to refuse. But Nikat comes in saying that she accepts this relation. All are so shocked, including Rashid. She says that she has made up her mind. In her room, Ayan tries to advise Nikat against this relation. She says that she wants to connect again and she knows that Hasina is very insulting but has asked for forgiveness. Rashid asks her not to be hasty. She says that she has thought enough. He reminds her that Imran would also be there. She says that she has completely forgotten Imran and wants a new relation and doesn't know why she stopped from moving on. Rashid asks her to think ahead as she isn't able to see what problems she would have. Rashid says that she would have many more options. She asks him why, where they are then and that they should get practical as she is neither getting younger or fairer and hence they should say yes to this. She reiterates Shirin's stance on this. Shirin says that she didn't mean it like that. Nikat says that she has made up her mind and that last time they thought and deliberated but still it went apart and hence this time they should say yes instantly. She asks him if he wants her unmarried always. Rashid says that he still isn't able to be agreeing to this. He asks if she really agrees to, to this. She remembers Imran and Najma and says yes, asking him to agree to as this is the decision that she has taken about her life. All are tensed to hear this. Najma asks Zoya why she didn't perform in front of her too. Zoya and she together get to tease Asad about this. Asad says that he did nothing of the sort and that it was just a one-time thing for Shridevi. But they together tease him till he silences that he was lost in her performance. He also teases her for Salman Khan and Zoya says that the list isn't over yet and goes on to name others. Zoya scares everyone by screaming that Donny is coming for Jamashtani to book her and last time he may have stopped her from going but this time around she would go at any cost. Asad and Zoya are amused to see her childish fascination for Donny. Asad agrees but says that he won't come as he has a very important meeting. 
She says that she would go with Najma then, but she too refuses, citing that she would go to college. She says that she would go alone, but Asad says that it's too far. She is insistent though. Asad says that he would book a car and chauffeur who would take care of her. She hugs him in happiness and kisses his cheek while Najma turns away. Asad leaves while the girls are happy. The next morning, Asad tried hard but isn't able to fix a cab for her. He calls her up and she picks up in excitement that the cab hasn't come yet and she is all ready. He tells her about the cab strike and she is extremely disappointed. He says that he tried his best but she should have to cancel her plan. She says okay and cancels the phone. She thinks that today she would anyhow meet Donnie. Nikat is going out of the house when Ayan asks where she's going. Ayan is confused. Humera is talking to someone on the phone who informs that due to the strike, she won't be able to get the medicine. She asks him to get them when he can. Ayan comes and says that she has missed her monthly appointment and doesn't have medicines. Humara asks him to go as she has a headache and nauseous. Ayan offers to take her but she insists that she would go to the doctor with Razia and not with him. But Ayan forcibly takes her but she says that what's the maximum that can happen? She would die and that's better than being with him. Ayan takes an assistant Humera who refuses to go to the doctor by the hand but he is stopped by Humera with a verse. Ayan sustains an injury on the head while she is out of breath herself. Shirin and Badibi see this and are shocked. Humera feels, falls unconscious. While the doctors are treating, Razia comes and asks what happened. Razia is told that Humera shouldn't skip this medicine even once and asks her not to be careless about this. He leaves asking to be called once Humera is, on, is conscious. Shirin asks if this is the same problem that she's troubling her since childhood and asks what is it and what she, she's taking medicine for. Raza says that it's nothing serious, just weakness and breathing problems. Shirin reminds how she says that if she doesn't take it one day, it would prove fatal to Humera. Raza again asks her not to be so serious and asks her to rest while she takes care of Humera. Shirin leaves saying that it's okay if she doesn't want to tell. Ayan is in tears seeing Humera and asks Razia about her condition. Razia gives the same answer to Ayan too. He says that he knows these medicines are for the heart and not for weakness. Razia silences him so that no one hears anything. Ayan demands to know what her ailment is. Razia says that there is a hole in her heart. Ayan is shocked to hear this. She says that only she and her husband knows about this and that she doesn't want Humera to know this and therefore they have always succumbed to her wishes just like her wanting to marry Ayan and he knows very well how much she tried for that. She says that for her sick daughter she can do anything. She says that she has no control over the ailment but can save her from the pain and scare of it. Raja says that it's incurable and can only be prevented. She says that it's important to keep her away from stress. As if that doesn't happen, Humera's life may be at risk. She asks Ayan not to tell anyone about this. They are unaware that Humera is awake and knows everything. Asad calls out for Zoya but doesn't find her in her room. He reaches around for her. He searches around for her while Najma sees and asks. She tells that Zoya already left. He asks how she managed. She says that she took the bus and Asad scolds her for being so careless to tell her the same as the road ends safe. He gets extremely worried for her. Even by the evening, when Zoya hasn't returned, they are very tense. Najma takes the blame on herself for telling this to Zoya. Asad says that Zoya herself should have been matured and not stepped out, of the, the, out in the strike. He tries her number but doesn't get through. Zoya on the road tries to contact but finds her battery and network windling. Asad says that he would go out. Imran says that he can't as there is too much violence. Asad says that he has to go for Zoya. Dilchar too agrees. Najma and Asad discuss that even Zoya's phones are not getting, getting through. Even after having waited a while, no bus seems to come at the bus stop. Zoya, who is out of breath, isn't able to see any vehicle to take her. 
but she gets excited when she sees a car coming from the other side and hails for a lift. The person asks if she stopped him. Zoya explains her dilemma to the person and asks to be left at the flyover list as she needs to reach home. He agrees. She is somewhat surprised and tends to see the owner of the car. She gets into the car unknown to the evil intentions of the person and thanks him for his help. She is surprised to see his intense eyes. He says that her scarf is stuck in the car door. She sees and takes it out. Ayan comes to her room and looks at Humera and thinking that she is asleep, thinks that he would keep her forever happy and not give her any more pain. And if her happiness is in distancing from her, then so be it. And he promises that he would go very far from her. He leaves. Humera thinks that Ayan always wanted to be away from her. And now Destiny is handing it out to him. Then, why would she wait for feet when she knows what it is? She says that if Ayan doesn't want to be with her, then she would make it easier on him and soon would go very far from him. Zoya thanks him profusely while getting down the car and says that she would always remember the help he had turned out today to her. As she goes inside, Rajve eyes her and the house. Inside... Asad says that he would find her anywhere. As he opens the door to leave, he finds Zoya at the other end with a smiling face. But seeing Asad tensed, she too grows serious and a little tensed too. Okay guys, thank you for watching today's episode and I do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.